that's where the tire is. It's underneath that. It throws up that box. I don't know where it is. I'm not sure about that. Lego, let me tell you what to write there, Matt. <laughs> so bloody bossy. Hey, Ginger, do you, have you heard me complain yet? Nope. Very old Barton. Very old Barton. You should swing in here with me. You're listening to the Podcast Detroit Network. Visit www.podcastdetroit.com for more information. I said, hey, hey, welcome to the Man Cave Happy Hour. I said, hey, hey, welcome to the Man Cave Happy Hour. All right. We're going to drink a fine whiskey and smoke a really fine cigar. I said, hey, ladies, welcome to the Man Cave Happy Hour. I said, hey, ladies, welcome to the Man Cave Happy Hour. You're welcome to drink our whiskey and smoke our really fine cigars. One more time, boys. I said, hey, welcome to the Man Cave Happy Hour. I said, hey, hey, welcome to the Man Cave Happy Hour. We're gonna smoke a really good cigar and drink a really fine whiskey. It is time for Happy Hour. It is the Man Cave Happy Hour Whiskey, Cigar, Spirits, and the stories that go along with it. I'm Jamie Flanagan. I am Matt Fox. Hey. And uh, that's the extended version. Hey, right you know there. what? We, we haven't done that in a long no, time. No, it's, it's usually we put the short one on. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but there's a couple of there's a couple of go rounds in there. Shout out to Pat, Pat yeah. Ackerley, man. Yes, wrote that for us way back in the uh, what first second episode that we did. Uh, the, like yeah, that. it was a, yeah, it was uh, one of the ones we did there downtown at uh, yeah, Music Town, Music Town downtown yeah. inside Hockey Town downtown Detroit. There's a lot of towns in there. <laughs> there is a lot of towns in there. There yeah. are a whole lot of towns going on. Yeah, but yeah, thanks for uh, playing the entire thing. I, I forgot how much fun I, we had. Yeah, I, that was entirely. That intentional <laughs> oh, <laughs> wrong one. Oh, let it roll <laughs> germans eyes on a roll uh, butter <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah just uh we're here in our uh northville podcast detroit studios so we're, we're, we're this is our man cave this is our man cave yes and welcome to the man cave. welcome to the man cave and yeah we're downtown northville podcast detroit studios and uh you know, we, we, we actually had a pretty good time here this uh, this evening. Oh my Working goodness! Working on yes. stuff, so we got so meeting much going some new on. people. We have yeah. another we have another appointment after this, so good thing we're going to get lit up before our next appointment <laughs> shows in. Drinking what on the job? Uh, water. Yeah. water, water, That's, water. Uh, water. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but uh, great weekend. We just uh, had a, a for our sister show, uh, Animal Talk Radio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we recorded an episode with uh, R.J. Mitty. From Breaking Bad. From Breaking Bad, yeah. Yeah, he so, was uh, Walter White Jr. I'm, I'm <laughs> contemplating rolling that out as a uh, Man Cave episode uh, as well. We, we did talk a little bit about uh, drinking at the, um, at the front part of that, yeah. if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay. So but, we, we did a yeah. lot of drinking with RJ <laughs> and Ben yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and the Podcast Detroit folks at uh, Astronomicon 3. Three. Uh, so, but, uh, yeah. And so RJ was there just, uh, you know, meeting uh, fans, saying yeah, hi, shaking hands, kissing babies. Yes. Or and is it the other way? No. Yeah. 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 Kissing, shaking, <laughs> shaking babies, kissing hands. hands. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. And so, no, that was nice. And then, uh, Ben, who was there as his handler. Yes. Uh, Ben 
represents a few other people, and he represents Ryan Hurst. Oh, from uh, Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy, now The Walking Dead. Walking Dead, yeah. And he was in, he's been in several things. And uh, so Ryan's a big animal uh, lover. Yes. Big animal enthusiast. And yes. he's uh, he's a... He became a micro, a motorcycle enthusiast. He wasn't a big. He was a, everybody's like, oh, because he, he looks like a total biker. He's like six four, <laughs> yeah. and he's got that Sons of Anarchy beard. And people say, oh, what's with the beard, Mister Flanagan? I go, well, I'm, I'm, they're re, they're rebooting Sons of Anarchy, and I'm going out to be an extra. You know, if your agent calls and says, hey, you want to go out and learn how to ride a bike and yeah. do a show at the same time? And yeah, so yeah, absolutely. he wasn't a big biker. <laughs> uh, he wasn't a he wasn't a he wasn't a big motorcycle guy before Sons of Anarchy, and no. and, and he became one. And so uh, he was going down to shoot uh, Walking Dead. Yes, and he wanted a bike to have to use while he was there, and he hooked up with Michigan Harley Davidson. Nice. And he got himself a motorcycle. And the plan was to give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. When it Thank was, you, Anthony. Appreciate when, that. When it was done and uh, it turned into this whole thing. Now there's this just massive, awesome, custom motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Being auctioned off Now here's the, the thing. Country. Spoiler alert. Right? <laughs> okay. People Spoiler. don't know this and they're not saying it. But Uh-oh. this bike, before it's all said and done, yeah. is going to get autographed by many other celebrities. Oh, fun! Right, so they're not—they haven't let that cat out of the bag yet. But so you uh, are. <laughs> we are. Cat bag out. out. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, you know, like, because because he and Charlie Hoonan do do a ton of uh, uh, the cons together and things, and they hang okay, together. Fair. Char- Charlie's like a, just big time uh, into the bikes, and then uh, Rita's. Um, oh, Norman? Norman. Yeah. Yeah, because on The Walking Dead, he's a major bike enthusiast. Yes, he is. So you're going to be- Since day one. You're yes. going to be seeing this bike. And so not only is it is it a, a custom Harley Davidson, custom made and for Ryan by Ryan. Because yeah, he, he picked custom- all, he picked every spoke out. Yep. He did. He literally picked out every every piece of that bike. Uh, it's going to be autographed by not only Ryan, but uh, sure. a lot of other people as well. Well, the I- signatures aren't on it yet. I might be selling a bill of goods that aren't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the plan. That is that is the plan to have uh, uh, a lot of his celebrity uh, motorcycle enthusiast friends autograph it as oh, well. Just uh, up in the ante uh, for this. It's an amazing, amazing bike. We're going to have pictures of it up on the website. Uh, and it's a way to uh, help and give back. And, and it's going to animal charities. So that was yes. Italian three for different animal, animal yeah. Three different animal charities. And uh, you'd think it would be actually more of a man cave. Uh, <laughs> it would <laughs> almost almost be more of a man cave thing kind of. than, uh, than uh, uh, an animal talk one. But it's all the money's going to uh, animal mm-hmm. charities. Right, which is fantastic. And I believe they're auctioning it off the end of the summer. Mm-hmm. That's when they're doing the auction. So if, uh, go online and uh, take a look at it, see what, uh, what... We'll have some links posted as yeah, to we'll where you can do it. On there. And yeah. uh, the link to the Animal Talk episode where we talk to Ben and he gives us all the details Oof, good stuff. on that. And we'll have more. Uh, we'll actually... We will. I will yeah. put it out as a, a Man Cave episode as okay. well. Okay, fair. And uh, what else we got? Um, the last time we recorded... This is our second show here in the Podcast Detroit studios. Right. And uh, the the first one we did, we talked to our our new brothers the in Ken- the barrels, the Kentucky Bourbon, Bourbon Boys. Boys. Yes, so and, gracious. Yeah, and, and uh, they've actually they they reached back out, and mm-hmm. I believe we are. Uh, they called up another bottle, and we're going to buy a bottle. We're going to do a tasting, but we have to get Girl Scout cookies too. And Girl Scout cookies, <laughs> I'm so excited about. It. I'm eating pretzels. I probably shouldn't eat pretzels while we're doing this. It sounds awful that I'm chewing. <laughs> But uh, I feel like I'm smoking a cigar. And well, we're yeah, like we're in the you. studios. We can't smoke in this in the yeah, studios. Not good. in these studios. You want to smoke, don't you? <laughs> and uh, I do. I had a, I had one last night in the hot tub. Oh, good for you. There's snow coming down. We're here in Michigan. The snow is coming uh, down. Uh, Sunday night before the work week. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah, get yeah, it. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it it snowed on Friday and a little bit on Saturday, mm-hmm. uh, and then I worked all day Sunday. And when I got home around seven o'clock Sunday night, Colleen was like, "So, aren't you going to do the snow?" Uh. Well, of course I am, honey. Of course. Because that that's what That you was do. exactly my plan right now. <laughs> that is entirely what I had planned on doing <laughs> right this minute. Dear. Well, you're such a good husband. Love. Such a good husband. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. So uh, we had dinner at about uh, 8 o'clock. I, I rolled out there and I did the snow. And Got then, in. 9 o'clock. I was in the tub. Big old cigar. I'm, honey, I'm going to the tub. You coming? She's like, no, you can go. I like, I know I'm standing there buck naked in the middle of the kitchen. <laughs> I'm like, I know that. That's why I'm buck naked in the I'm middle of the sorry. kitchen with a cigar and a beer. So when you ask if you want to come over to the hot tub, that's why I ask, what, to take a bath? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> well, I put I put on shorts when. when oh, you're okay, there. okay. I put so on I put on shorts when you're there. All right, fair. So, but then so I had a cigar last night, so uh, you, I, I'll put my pretzel cigar down right now. <laughs> but uh, mentioning the Kentucky Bourbon Boys, we uh, yeah. we had them on, and when we did our first episode here in the new Northville Podcast Detroit Studios, it, it was Old Forester. We did that, and but uh, we got connected to the Kentucky Bourbon Boys from our, our dear friend Beth Underwood. Yes, talk bourbon to me, talk bourbon to me. <sighs> One time, two times, three times potentially. That's it. So, but Beth, um, in our conversations while she was connecting me with the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Boys, yes. she said, Hey, here's one you should try, Jamie. She said, Why don't you and Matthew try Very Old Barton? Uh, because it's really inexpensive mm-hmm. and yet extraordinarily tasty. Hmm. And I've seen it. And I was intrigued by it, mm-hmm. and it looks fancier than uh, the price tag. It kind of does, you know. The, so the, out the, the door, out the door, fourteen, fourteen 15? bucks, thirteen yeah. ninety nine. Uh, well, you know, tax or whatever is a little more than fourteen, but you know, the Michigan uh, suggested manuf- manufacturer suggested retail price, whatever. Mm-hmm. MSRPG, yes. MOUSE, ah, uh, thirteen ninety nine. So I was like, hey. Okay, I don't, you know what? If it's um, if it and if it uh, lives up to it, but I think Beth was like, I hope you got the hundred proof. But we got the 90. oh, did she say? Yeah, yeah. But we got the ninety proof, which is fine because oh. we've never had this one and we've never had the hundred proof. So did you know she what? say the hundred proof? Well, yeah, yeah. But that's okay. Oh, all right, that's all right. I was I you was at know, uh, so. I was at uh, our one of our favorite haunts. Um, I was at the uh, wine garden. Oh, over and now, I was looking for a I was looking for a couple of things. I was looking for something to get. And I was like, ah, that's a, ah, that's a, and then, and then I was like, oh, Beth suggested something. And I just glanced at, I, I just, on my phone, went to the message. Yeah, that's okay. I, I didn't see the 100 proof. But we can, we can still do the 90 proof. Yeah. And then we can still do the 100 proof. Then that opens the door Four. for the next step up. Right. It's like going to 11. <laughs> it's one better. So, uh, yeah, and so we're stocking. If, if we got the video rolling, if people can uh, head on over to uh, North Podcast Detroit Northville Studios and, and see the videos uh, while we go live. Yeah. And you can see our bar cart in the back now. It, so we it's have, a, it's, um, it's honestly, in progress. There's pretzels. <laughs> there's cups. There's water. There's a little co- Coca Cola, <laughs> some vodka, and uh, some rum. And uh, pretzels. Did I mention pretzels? Yes, you did. And uh, now there'll be the uh, very old Barton. Crappy ninety proof because Jamie's an idiot. Ah, okay. No, Jamie's not an idiot. Jamie uh, saw he saw it and he said that one. That so. one. That's the one that's coming home today. So, um, all right. So that's what we're doing. So, Matt, yes, um, what can you tell me about the the very old Barton? Because it's the seventeen ninety two Barton seventeen ninety two uh, distillery, right? Uh, well, it's from the. It comes from the good folks at Sirajic. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sure. Uh, and they, they own Buffalo Trace. Okay. Right, which is one of your uh, favorite things out there. Yep, Cesarek, thank you. Uh, right. Owns Buffalo Trace. Slee stack, what? <laughs> and it is uh, they actually do produce it at. Oh, the don't Barton. bring Bill Lampier into this again. <laughs> uh, so very. That is Barton. like really obtuse, <laughs> and not many people from the you know it's like uh, are gonna get that Bill Lampier Slee stacks. Yeah, only a few folks, man. <laughs> yeah, you got to be very Detroit and very old to get that. <laughs> Which you are both. And very weird, yes. Yeah. I am I am all the above. All right. <laughs> That's so funny. So, uh, Sazerac. Um, own Buffalo Trace. And they own 1792 as well? Yes, it looks like they do. Um, right. And, you know, if you're on the west side of the country, not mm-hmm. not very uh, easily findable. Really? Yeah, you'd actually have to travel back to this side of the country to actually find it. Hmm. You know, the whole Tennessee. It really, it's more of a eastern side of the country. Well, it says Kentucky, Frankfurt, Kentucky. On well, here. yeah, but if you're on, on the west side, you're in uh, California's uh, uh, uh. and you're out that way. It's really, uh, you can't find it too easily. So, uh, unless you're traveling back over to this side of the country is where you're going to be able to find it. Mm-hmm. So, but I'll tell you that. There's an email address on the neck of this thing. It's V-O-B at bourbonwhiskey.com. That's funny. Nice. Well, very old Barton, V-O-B. Yeah. Yeah. So if you'd like to talk to the bottle, apparently you can email it. <laughs> Why is there an email address on this? Uh, All right, go see. ahead. And uh, but, there's an 800 number. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, Jake from State Farm, what are you wearing? <laughs> well, I'm wearing a gold label with a... Very old dude. Who are you talking oh, to? I'm talking to very old Barton at three in the morning. 
What are you wearing, very old Barton? Well, it's a gold label with a red stripe. <laughs> Do they ask you what you're wearing a lot? All right, sorry. Yeah, that's funny. Right? That uh, tantrum was brought to you by <laughs> Bourbon. We haven't even opened it yet. No, we haven't. It doesn't get cracked. it doesn't get any better. All right. So this is the very old Barton six. Uh huh. This is the very old Barton six we have in front of us. Okay. That's right. okay. Okay. So it is the ninety proof. It is the six. Anyway, according to uh, the whiskey jug dot com, mm. if you're looking at this when you eye it, what do you, what do you see, Jamie? Personally, it actually. I like the shape of the bottle. It's a nice bell shaped bottle. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, it, it's it's not light. It's it's not super dark. No, it's about mid range mm-hmm. uh, in the darkness. Yeah, uh, caramely color. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's, so it's it's it's. I mean, it's it's that's that's a standard trait for many fine bourbons. You are gonna get and very it, often, not every time, but very often. Right. Some of them will be lighter. There'll be a caramel. Be there'll be a caramel party in there. Are we getting a caramel party in here? We're getting a little bit of a caramel party. All right. But I'll tell you that you mentioned the bottle and the shape of it. I oh. just saw, um, you know, Woodford Reserve actually just came out with bottles that look like this as well. Okay. You know, it's mm, kind of like mm-hmm, that bell mm-hmm. shape. So I don't know if that changes. It's the almost flip. an antique. Yeah, I don't know if that would change the flavor of it at all. I don't really don't think so because mm-hmm. the flavor is all coming from when it's in the uh, the the, uh, the barrels itself. But you know, I don't know if the bottle would uh, change the flavor of the actual whiskey bourbon itself. Okay. But um, I, I'm kind of excited because it, on the nose on this, it's something that I've never smelled before within a bourbon. What? Whiskey. Okay. All right. So and they're tell, they're telling us it's going to be kind of we might get a hint of bread, cornbread. Ah. Oh. Well, nose. good thing I'm eating pretzels. I'm already in the bread family. Well, yeah, you're already expanding your palate as we speak. So, um, trying I'm not kind to of crunch in the microphone. To, yeah, you're so funny. Uh, you know, you're going to get a little bit of grain in there. It's going to get a little bit of cornbread action out of it. It it, mm-hmm. it should be an interesting um, mix that we haven't had before. Mm-hmm. Because again, for 14 bucks, you know, I would hope that it's going to be different. Cornbread. Cornbread. You know, cornbread. It, so. Uh, the palate on this, mm-hmm. being that it's a watery caramel, you're actually going to get a little bit of spice. Okay. On this, it's a 90 proof. Okay. A little bit of spice. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot. Um, it's not, it shouldn't be too bad on right, the palate. Right. So if you're going to start your evening off, you might want to start with something on the lighter side, like a 90 proof. Okay. Right. And then work your way up to that 100 proof, right? Yeah. And or more if you really like that spice. So. I like it a spice. But I'm curious when we pour it, what the legs look like on this. She got legs. Oh, so what is this, like the cop rock version of the man? I keep singing. <laughs> you're just, we're gonna, you're we're just gonna in do, a great, you're in a great mood. We're going to do Man Cave the Musical. You know, gonna, we're going to sing the whole thing. <laughs> we're going to do show tunes to describe everything we drink. When Jamie starts to sing, he's in a good mood. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You, you, you could totally tell when you know if you're in a good mood, you start to sing stuff. Okay, so it's all good, man. All right, you make me laugh. <laughs> uh, Booch checked in on the on the Facebook. Hey, Did Booch. He? Yeah, she goes, "What a nice surprise to see you there. Aww. It's a nice surprise that you've checked in on the man cave." <laughs> Yay, we have a check in. Yeah. I think that's the first one ever uh, that so, we but... acknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. Are we gonna crack this? Uh, or you want to keep talking? No, I'm. I'm yeah. <laughs> give me, give me, I'll give keep me. talking. So about it's it. like, all right, no. What else you got? So it says on the on the neck there, besides the phone number. Where's? <laughs> <laughs> hello, uh, Bartons. What are you wearing at three in the morning? <laughs> uh, three in the morning, not a hell of a lot of nothing actually. Uh, so it says crafted, just ninety proof, crafted. Yes, crafted, very old Bartons, ninety proof. Da, 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 da. It doesn't have a mash bill on here. I'm K- actually trying to find that Kentucky mash bill right straight now. whiskey. Um, yeah, it doesn't really have the the the, the I'm looking. I'm mash looking. bill on here. But all right, so I'm gonna crack it. It's a simple cap. Again, this is uh, not one of the expensive ones. No, 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 no. But that was why Beth suggested it. And again, we are taking this uh, from uh, the word. Rap. The word oh. of Beth Underwood mm-hmm. from Talk Bourbon to me. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I just those aren't sound effects. That's that's it. That's, that's it. That's that's so it. the mash bill, the mash bill on this, Jamie. You're looking at about seventy five percent corn, fifteen percent rye, ten percent barley. That's the mash bill. That's All right, I, I was I was making I was making pouring you noises. Want to, you want me to repeat that? Yeah, too? yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so mash bill. Yep. Seventy-five percent corn. Okay. Fifteen percent rye. Okay. 
ten percent barley. Okay, so the, and rye is usually that's the spice that you yeah get, yeah. So right? that's you might get a little bit. All right, listen to this. Listen. Oh, <laughs> yo! <Yum. laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> I like this bottle because it makes fun pouring noises. I'm gonna do that. That was yours. Now I'm gonna do mine. All right, All well, right fun pouring noises. Here we go. All right, you're pouring it into the cheap plastic glasses. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We they, there's actually a kitchen and stuff in here in 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 the podcast podcast Detroit Northville Studios. I could do that too. So we could actually. <laughs> um, all right, take that Monday. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So um, being that this was made in uh, Bard's, t- the distillery's in Bardstown, Kentucky. Bardstown. We just learned that Bardstown is the. Con- is the bourbon capital of the world or something? Yes, like that. You know, something like that. The Kentucky Bourbon Boys had talked about it last night. Yes, or last uh, last episode. The so. good old Kentucky Bourbon Boys yes. Blues Brothers Band. But yeah, it's bottled in bond, all this good stuff. I'm really curious. I smell it without even putting it close. I can already right, right. smell it. So it's got a, it's very aromatic. Right. So even from a from a far uh, from far away, from afar, mm, from afar. But yeah, knows that that's that's got caramel. Mm-hmm. Do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Do you say caramel? I say, I say caramel. I say caramel. You say caramel? Yeah. Well, it's because you're not a native Michigander. I really am not. No. You've, you've been all over the place. Uh, well, having military parents. That'll do her. Yeah. Anywhere uh, from, uh, what, California to Ohio to Carolinas. How, how long were you in Alaska? Alaska, about three years total. Okay. It was right in Anchorage. Do you ever um, wrestle a bear? Uh, it wrestled me. <laughs> no, man, I'll tell you what, the salmon fishing out yeah. there and, oh, yeah? and the trout, the rainbow trout, oh my goodness, so much fun. Being a young buck kid at, at mm-hmm, that mm-hmm, age, you know, you're mm-hmm. talking first, second grade. Okay. Yeah. And just oh walking gosh, up and yeah. down the, uh, you know, the, the shoreline there and catching fish. Wow. You know, you just throw it out there, you catch it. Mm. You know, so you saw the bears out there catching the salmon oh. as they're starting to breed up, you know, upstream or what sure, have you. Sure. So I saw a lot of that. A lot wow. of moose, a lot of meeses walking around. Really? Mo- moose are... Big. Dude, they're huge. They're like, and I, I can't even imagine being a first grader how big they were. They were probably yeah. the size of, you know, the Fisher Building. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we lived on, on the Air Force Base, Elmendorf okay. Air Force Base. So we really did see a lot of moose because, you know, the, the uh, F-4s at the time, they would uh, they, they would kind of scare all oh, those animals yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. But my aunt and uncle had a cabin in the woods in Alaska, which was about an hour and a half drive from the uh, Air Force Base. So we mm-hmm. would actually go up there and uh, spend a few nights with my aunt and uncle <sighs> in the middle of the woods. And that was right around, and I'm going to date myself. That was right around when the Poltergeist movie came out. Oh, okay. The first one with, first with, one. with Craig T. Nelson. All right. Right. And, uh, you know, I was young. I was very young. And my aunt's like, oh, yeah, the kids will be fine. They can watch it. And you're uh, talking, you know, it's the Poltergeist movie. Uh, and, uh, you know, the. Here. And the the guy starts to see the steak moving across the uh, uh, the kitchen counter, mm-hmm. right? And then goes into the bathroom and tears off his face. Well, you can't see it, you know, because well, we're recording a podcast. But my right. mother was be, was told to put her hand over our eyes in that part. Of yeah, course, yeah, she does yeah, this. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. right. So she, I'm watching it all. Uh, Did not sleep a wink uh, that night for a week. And just to kind of tie this all together, mm-hmm. during the night, why I could not sleep, Jamie? Yeah, I heard some rustling outside. Yeah, we're in the woods in Alaska in a cabin. There's a lot of rustling going on outside. <laughs> Next thing I know, there's something at the window, breathing heavily <laughs> and fogging up the window, and it's going. <clears throat> Is it a moose? <clears throat> moose. It was a f- moose. Man. Oh man, a <laughs> moose kidding. moose. It was a moose moose. Really? Because he saw the light from the television uh, because it didn't get turned off. It had that. That screen oh, with the uh, that is yeah. just not right. So yeah, I was freaking didn't sleep a wink at all that night. To this day, I still talk about it because it still trips me out. So, but yeah, just to kind of tie all that together, the moose that are out there. But yeah, from Alaska then to Maryland, yeah, where my mother met her now husband. Right. Thirty years later, they got married after they met. <laughs> Longest courtship in history. Sure. And then uh, to Michigan. So, yeah, I've moved around quite a bit. So, but yeah, my uh, I say caramel because I I'm say, not a native Michigan. I say caramel. All right, so it's it's, it's a man cave, just a taste, yes. on the cheap. We're here on the cheap. Uh, in the in the podcast Detroit, <laughs> North Northville Studios. Studios. Yeah. Uh, Ray checked in on the Facebook, and hey, so did Ray. Sean. Thanks, Sean. And uh, so that's we're trying, because we're, we, somebody suggested Beth from uh, Talk Bourbon, and we suggested, hey, try Very Old Barton. It's yeah. inexpensive. 
cheap, on the cheap. It's it's inexpensive. It's an affordable, approachable bourbon. She goes, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And so far, we've been talking about the uh, aroma. Yeah, you know, I and, get the caramel uh, on surprise. the Yep, I'm I'm, you know, I'm really uh, interested about this whole cornbread thing. Yeah. You know? And so, I was eating a pretzel earlier, so I don't know if that'll <laughs> in, I don't know if that'll impact my cornbread, right, right, right interpretations. Yeah, you know, a little bit of fruitiness in there on the nose, right. But uh, I kind of get a little uh, sour apple almost. I I was eating an apple earlier, okay. So I'm not sure if that's affecting this or not. But all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take the plunge. you dive into your plunge I'm plunging in. All right, I'm I'm following you. Hmm. There's a bit of a cinnamon in there. Not the spice. There's a bit of a cinnamon feel in there. Uh, the, see, I'm I'm a just a follower. I'm like, yeah, there there is. <laughs> I I see that now. I'm getting I'm it. following right along with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh but no, it's uh there yeah. there was it's uh uh I I, I the mash bill being 75% corn. Did somebody put the old Barton label on a fireball? What the hell? <laughs> no, it's not that. It's not that cinnamony. It's no, not, no, 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 no. It's just very, 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 very It's not minutely, a red hot. <laughs> very minute. Yeah. A little, little bit of cinnamon in there. I'm at, Knows it again now that you've, sna- that you've tasted it. Hmm. It's a spice, spicier smell a now that you've spicy. tasted it. It's in your... And to me, it's a spicier you know, smell. Though. As it's coated the back of my throat, as when I spy, you know, the heat is still there on that uh-huh. 90 proof. I still get a little bit of that heat. Um, you know, and it's actually getting a little more fruity as as it lingers a little bit longer too, for me mm-hmm. uh, on that on the palate. Oh, hey, Beth just joined us as well. Beth, we're doing the very old Barton that you re- you recommended, suggested. Thanks, Beth. Um, I actually grabbed the 90 proof, not the 100. That's okay. But uh, yeah, so we were we were talking you up too, Beth. We were taking your name in vain. <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, so it's uh, but that that opens the door that now we can do the hundred proof after this. Yes, we can turn it up another notch. We mentioned we would turn up another notch. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on the hook for that one. So so yeah, this is a, but uh, it, it, she, like she said, it was it's affordable. It's extraordinarily affordable, Very. and yet not, not bad. Uh, when I when I set this on the counter. Uh, at the party store, we were my our, our favorite. Did I say you we said, I was you at, said the at the wine garden? garden. No, Tony. I was at the wine garden. Tony wasn't. Tony there. wasn't there, but because uh, he's busy actually opening up a uh, another location. Oh, is that what he's doing? Yeah. Okay. He's setting up a uh, second location. But the the, the woman the woman who's yeah. like at uh, at the counter, she's like, you know, she goes, I just recommended that to somebody else. She goes, one of our other guys over here. She goes, he 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 swears by it, and mm. he says it's his daily drinker. Um, it's, it's his daily pour. Huh. Um, he, he, and he likes it because it's, it's, you know, it's affordable. Yeah. Uh, and, and if you're blowing through it on a, on a, for a daily pour, uh, it's, it's a good thing. So, you know, those actually pair really well with a, with a lighter cigar, I think. Oh, okay. Personally, I would, I would rather smoke a lighter cigar on this than right? more, more, uh. And let the, let the, let the, let the bourbon do the talking. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is a, this is a good pairing with a, with a lighter wrapping of a cigar. Mm-hmm. You know that that for me that would be my opinion on my own personal palate. You know I didn't want I wouldn't want a really dark cigar to go with this because of the the lighter feel to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just a thought. I'm enjoying it. So uh, more readily available um, uh, mid Midwest and Midwest. East yep. than it is uh, on the West Coast. Out west, yeah. Okay. So fair play. If you're uh, gonna do some traveling out west, you know, find something that's native to where you're at. Mm-hmm. And then bring it back with you, mm-hmm. and, you know, and, th- and then you're going to really, you know, expand upon what your palate is actually going to do. Right, right. Um, I thought I poured too much in here. No, it's almost gone, isn't I, it? I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> going in for a second one, are you? <laughs> well, I don't know, because we do have another tour of the studio coming up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, hi, welcome. We're so glad you could be with us today. <laughs> we love you. Uh, we, lo- we love you. Uh, <laughs> work with me, would you? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, no. oh, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this next tour because it's a, a, a guy, he wrote a book uh, about the championship year you were telling in Detroit. Me about and I'm this. surprised yeah. you didn't because you're a sports guy. I, am a sp- I do like the sports. And that uh, uh, we're looking for, it's, it's going to be another, it's going to be a podcast. I'm telling you right now. Uh, everything, everything's <laughs> a podcast. But uh, the Detroit teams won 
the 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 Super Bowl, the World Series, the Stanley Cup, and then Joe Lewis uh, took the heavyweight title all in the same year. Wow! So and well, all within a year span. Is Detroit the only city to have done that in one year? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Yes. <laughs> hell, if, hell if I know. But uh, I, I, it seems like an unprecedented and unrepeated feat. But you don't hear about it. And what struck me about this and got me thinking about this because I met this guy. He, re, he's, he wrote this book. It's been out since like, I, I don't know, uh, 2012, 08. I don't know. It's been out for. It's been this, the original book. He's he has a whole series of books now. Oh wow. Because he's written companion books. One about the wings season, one about the lion season, one about the tiger season. Uh, so he's like, he's deep into this. Hmm. So, and, and then just about Detroit, the, the Detroit tradition. <laughs> because this last calendar year was the, the worst year in professional sports in, in any city. Uh, and Detroit takes the title because the, our city had the most collective losses right. with professional teams. And I'm like, you know, that's just a drag because I remember we had such a great tradition. And then it dawned on me, I was like, there was that cat that wrote that book. And I'm like, holy crap, that needs to be a podcast. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have him in. He's going to start doing a podcast about uh, the city of champions that, yeah. that we are. I'm so a- we, we may have to roll back 80-some uh, <laughs> years to 90 years to, to, to find it, but uh, it's there, I'm tucked f- away someplace. Place. I am looking forward to and hearing it's just how it magnificent goes. Yeah. stories. And you get you get into you know Detroit or America in the 1930s, and this it happened in the middle of the Depression. And Joe Lewis's Jeez. story is just astounding. Mm-hmm. Uh, where he came from, in, in just in, in the in, in the, the bottoms, I think they call it the black bottom of Detroit, and and out of the Depression, and and just through nothing but sheer grit in his own determination and his fists. Huh. That's why that fist is there on, right. on Jefferson. Uh, yeah. I, see it, so, I see it at least three, four times. I'm excited about that. So yeah. we're going to be, I just, I said, I'm, I'm excited to talk to that cat. Yeah. Uh, I want to have him on the man cave too and talk about, and oh, there's a new, there's a Joe Lewis, uh, I don't know if it's a whiskey. I think it's a whiskey. It's Ooh. not, I don't think it's a bourbon. I think it's a Joe Lewis. Yeah. There's a Joe Lewis whiskey. Really? There, he sponsored, there was one, it's a, it's a reboot. It's a reboot, and I want to find it, and I want to try to get the people on. Yeah. Um, there's a reboot of the Joe Lewis uh, whiskey. I don't know, whiskey or bourbon? I don't think it's a bourbon. It's because it's, you know, bourbon is right, right. has to be. Well, no, it doesn't have to be Kentucky, does it? Doesn't it doesn't have to be. As long as it's in a certain. <laughs> what kind of show do we do? I don't know. It's got to be Kentucky, right? No, it doesn't have to be. Uh, That's a myth. We did that. Yes. We talked about that. Um, it is. No, it doesn't. But I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a bourbon or a whiskey, but Joe Lewis, it's a. a I'll have it, to look that up. Yeah, you give me some homework to do, and I will, because uh, you do a lot for uh, Man Cave as it is. I, I got to find it. I got to find some it. homework. It's just sort of popping up on my Facebook feed, and I, I friended it, and I'm like, ah, oh, we got to. We gotta dig in and find those folks. I hope they're I hope they're in and around Detroit or nearby. Mm-hmm. If at least have a representative here. Right. So I haven't I seen it on so. the shelves yet. So we'll have to ask our, our friends, either Tony at the wine garden or Joe, Joe over at Kekos. Kekos, yeah, Kekos. Uh, to get their mitts on it so you can get it first. Right. All right, guys, game <laughs> on. Ooh, that'd be great. Put Joe and Tony in a ring. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got I got money on Tony. He's he's a wily one, isn't he? he? No, he serves, man. Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, don't don't underestimate the, the the. He might not be the tallest man on the planet, but he's. Uh, <laughs> yep. I would not. I would not go toe to toe with him. He's a he's a good man. He's a good man. Anyway, um, all right. So screw Mary kill. Um, will you? Will you? Are you dead to me? Are you are you buying it and taking it home? Are you drinking it out and about on the town? Screw Mary Kill with the 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 very old Barton crafted very old Barton ninety proof. You know there there has been things on my uh, on my shelf mm-hmm. that have been on the cheap. Right, right. There are affordable. Things, there are things that on my shelf that uh, right now that have not been on the cheap. Mm-hmm. But for a daily drinker, if you're if you're looking just uh, unwind. This is a good option. Well, we're doing this straight. Yeah, and it's, it's, there's no. Well, we have water in here, and we have ice down the hall. But but yeah, we haven't. I, this, I don't. It doesn't is, need it. This is a good daily drinker. It, it, you know, if you're if, if you're looking for something that's you know not as expensive, and you can get at it quickly. You're worried about dropping the cup in the hot tub and wasting it. You're not wasting a. You're not uh, wasting a good bottle. <laughs> 
So yeah, I would actually. It's a good hot tub pour. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, I would. I would marry this one and just you know use it as a daily drinker. I would. That's and, and again, once again, uh, it will be here um, on the cart, on our bar cart. You can see in the background. And the um, doors do lock, by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here at the uh, uh, podcast Detroit Northville mm-hmm. Studios, um, we're we're building our bar cart. We don't have a whole bar, but we got a we got a fine little bar cart underway. There's some hey, pretzels there's up our... there. That's a that's a. You love them pretzels, man. Yeah, I like the red solo. There's some. Cup. There's some twi- We got some Twizzlers too. So, uh, yeah. but yeah. So if uh, you want to come and uh, podcast your voice, uh, you can do it at the podcast Detroit Northville Studios or any of the podcast Detroit Studios. Please, yeah. And uh, you know what? If you have a passion, yes. If you have something you want to talk about, get it off your chest. You know what? Sit down. You know, we there's the uh, free podcast uh, first Saturday of the month. Free podcast day. Yeah, free podcast day. So you get mm-hmm. 30 minutes to kind of figure it out. You know, first one's free. Get a yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, you know, get reach out to us. You know, we we'd love to sit down and have a chat with you about what you know where you think a uh, where you think your podcast could go. You know, and and we're the easy button. Yeah. You sit down, you talk about your passion, and then it gets out there, and then you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So, so uh, Nick just chimed in on the, on the Facebook page. Mr. Britsky. Mm-hmm. Hey, Nick. He, he won uh, an Oscar yesterday. Did he? He did. Well, it was a, a Lego Oscar. Okay. And it was uh, a, a new on uh, uh, Channel 7. Oh, it to okay. Him. That's okay. That's he, was, <laughs> he, was, he, did a, he did a morning thing on the, on the news oh. uh, with uh, what cocktails to, yeah. to pour for your Oscar party. Ah. Uh, and he built, I, I, I don't know if he built them or if they had them at the studio or what, <laughs> but uh, they were two. It was pretty cool. They were like Lego Oscars. And, Nick, uh, Nick, he's, he's, he's a rat. A, yes. He had me on his, uh, on his, uh, on his vid podcast. You guys Back did because you did a dry January thing. Yeah, we right? did it in the middle of dry January. Like an idiot I am, I go on a drinking show in the middle of dry January. <laughs> I don't yeah. think you know how this works. That's not how this works at all. <laughs> I unfriend you. <laughs> so, but uh, but we did uh, we did uh, non-alcoholic drinks, which was which was a riot. So, um, yeah, Nick uh, Nick drinks. Find yes. Nick drinks on the face space and, and social medias and. Uh, uh, you can see me and Nick having the non-alcoholics. Awesome. But, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kissing your sister. What's the point? <laughs> you know? You don't want to do that. No. You know? No. It's like, uh, you know. If I, I'm did, gonna, I, I did the dry January, January with you. You know, it, it just I, really, I mean, yeah. gen, generally speaking, uh, you know, it because it, it, some of them had, were, 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 were like adjacent. Uh, some of them were like, you know, if somebody, if there was several of them, if you see it, they, if you, you you pour the drink and it's like, oh, if somebody handed that to me at a party, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, here you go, here's a here's a fuzzy tulip or whatever. I'd be like, whoa, I'd be like, ah, that's fun, and I'd be, you know, because you are, I'd a, have a lampshade on my head in 20 minutes. You are a girl drink drunk. Oh, I'm a girl drink drunk for sure. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, they were, they, I mean, they they tasted, but it's like, uh, you know, um, if you're gonna go, go, go in, go all the way in, both feet. All the way in. Yep. So yeah, when it, when it comes to podcasting, just jump in with both feet. Oh, for you know? sure that. Yeah. So you know, you find us on all your uh, socials. You know, mm-hmm. um, mancavehappyhour dot com. Yep. Uh, find us on Facebook. Yep. Uh, Man Cave Happy Hour. You can actually find us on Twitter. We would be there. Man Cave Happy HR. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Too yeah. many letters. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then on the Instagram as well. We so, the, you know, I, we're I finally got the password to work on the Instagram. Yeah, you did. We had that thing for like a year and a half. <laughs> You're welcome. And then we, the first like nine months, neither one of us, we built it. And then it was like, do you remember the password? No. no. Do you remember the password? <laughs> Whose email did we use to make it? I don't know. I don't remember. That was me. <laughs> Way to go, Matt. Oh, we're good with the socials. Yes. So, but it's it's a it's a little more alive and alive and kicking now. Yes, yes hey, it is. Hey, 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 hey. See, so anyways, we got to get back to the alive and kicking. We got to get back to the the cop rock version of the man cave. There you go. See, you're singing. We're in a good mood. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, you know, truly, le- genuinely appreciate it. Yeah. Do leave a comment. You know, say hi. You know, that's what you want you to do right now. Go to our website. Ooh, please say hi. There's a little contact yes. page. Click yes. that. Yep. And you then know, contact. If you have a favorite Phone drink, home. if you have a favorite drink, Boop. favorite bourbon, whiskey, doesn't matter what spirit. Ooh. Let us know what it is. Well, that's what we're going to do with the Kentucky Bourbon Boys. Yes. Um, they're calling up a bottle, and they called up. Uh, old we're, Forester, yeah, we're gonna do the ten. We're gonna do the Old Forester, nineteen ten. Ten nineteen. I... <laughs> <laughs> Not letting that down, buddy. <laughs> no, dyslexia boy. What are you gonna do? Uh, but yeah, so the we, we the Old Forester, 
um, they said, hey, and, but what's the kicker on it when we do it? Who's paying for it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they had the wine garden. I was like, oh, hey, cool. They got the 1910 here. Yeah, it's, uh, and I was I, like, I'm oh, up. 54 bucks. Yeah, right. I'm up. So All right, but no. Um, yeah, I'll do, and then I'll do the other one. <laughs> well, you 13, did that one. 54. You, you did that one. You 14, did that one. That 50, one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, uh so, but they, what else did they call up to go with the 1910 Old Girl Scout, Girl Girl Scout, Scout cookies. cookies? We're in the middle of, we're heading into Girl Scout, Scout cookie season. Yep. So, I don't know what their plan is for um, Girl Scout. See, now I'm fussy with the Girl Scout cookies. I don't, there's not many of them that I like. I'm a Thin Mint and or Samoa guy. They're, Other than that, yeah, because I'm not, I don't like peanut butter. Yeah. And I'm weird like that because I like like dry roasted peanuts. Mm-hmm. I'll eat dry. I'll eat and like you know you go to the the steakhouse where you can throw the peanut shells on the floor. I'm gonna go a step further. The Samoas they uh, have to be frozen. Oh, do they? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Right, right. <laughs> they have to be frozen. So I hope they don't say, "Oh yeah, you have to try this with the peanut butter." You know, nutty buddy, whatever. I don't know. So I'm like, I'll be like, Rrr. yeah. How about we just do the bourbon? It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't so, do peanut butter and bourbon. Yeah, no, I time. just I don't I don't do peanut butter ever. Ooh, are you got a peanut allergy? Uh, yeah, I break out into hissy fits. Ah, see, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> just like you don't have like any tomatoes on your sandwich. No, it's pickles. pickles. Oh, is it pickles? Pickles. All right, pickles, pickles. Yeah, we're at a restaurant. And he's like, uh, yeah, no pickles on that, please. She'll, and the waitress will be, are you allergic? I go, yes. I break out into hissy fits. I've heard it. I've heard it <laughs> firsthand, folks. It's hysterical. It's great. And they smile and they laugh and then they bring a plate with pickles on it. And guess what happens? <laughs> I turn into the biggest raging bitch you ever met. <laughs> God, holy crap, man. What didn't you You got understand? one job. What didn't no you pickles. One job. No pickles. No pickles. One job. That's all you got. Just one. What comes? Pickles. Yeah. Don't do not do that. To, wow, look at that. I turn, I'm not singing that. <laughs> turn that into a song. Pickles. Lewis. Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get on his bad side. Yeah, we're having, we're having, we're having too much fun. Man oh, Cave yeah. Happy Hour, mancavehappyhour.com. Matt yes. Fox. Uh, what else we got? Is that, is that, is that about it? Is you that... know, we have so much to do. We've got a lot of events happening. You know, we got the, uh, the Stray Cat Lounge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We changed the date on that, but we didn't make an event yet. So, yep. um, yeah, yeah we'll yeah, so do that. So, oh, hey, we're, I'm getting feedback. I brought us up. What'd you do? Well, uh, I, I was going to bring up, I had us muted. Oh. We're, we're very funny. Yes, we are. I, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, brought it, I brought the computer back on ah, to okay. do this. Nope, not, not to that do that. One. The other one, the other one. <laughs> getting funnier by the moment. This is the best rehearsal. <laughs> what kind of show is this? Yeah. Ever. <laughs> I, I just um, if we if we yeah it's one of the best rehearsals we've yeah. ever had. Yeah, you know what? that's what I was looking for. There it is. So yeah, man, man cave, cave mancavehappyhour dot com. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you. And uh, I don't know what else we got. I think that might be it. I got Is one that, more thing for what, you. Jamie. What do you got? What do you got? I, I got a cheers. Hey, thank you so much for your friendship.